Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli and today our topic is how to create Asana task for new Flowdesk subscriber added to a segment. So here I'm running a series of a webinar and now what I want is that all the subscribers that I'm adding in Flowdesk from my Flowdesk form are my registrant for my webinar. So here I want to send all the relevant information and the emails of follow-up to all my subscriber and to manage all this I want to create a new task in Asana. So here my objective is that whenever I'm going to create a new subscriber in Flowdesk, then automatically I want to create a new task in Asana. So for my objective, I have to build a connection between Flowdesk and Asana. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. Now, how I'm going to build this connection for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how we can create Asana task for new Flowdesk subscriber added to a segment. So suppose here I'm organizing a series of webinars and I want to ensure that every new subscriber receives all the relevant information and follow-ups. So when a new person subscribes to a webinar through Flowdesk, a Asana task should be created automatically to send them a welcome email, follow-up emails, promotional offer emails and remind the event team to follow up with the pre-webinar updates. So this will streamline event management, ensures all participants are well informed and reduces the chances of missing any important steps. So Asana is a web and mobile application designed to help teams organize, track and manage their work. From the small stuff to the big picture, Asana organizes work so that team know what to do, why it matters and how to get it done. So if you use Asana for task and project management, then this video is for you. Here I'm going to show you how you can automatically create an Asana task when someone opts into Flowdesk segment from your Flowdesk form. So here I'm going to use this onboarding form of Flowdesk to sign up new subscriber for my webinar. And now as my subscriber is going to sign up for my webinar from this form, then automatically it is going to create a new subscriber in a particular segment in Flowdesk. So as I'm going to receive a subscriber in a particular segment in Flowdesk, then automatically I want to create a new task so that I can manage the journey of that subscriber. So here for doing this automatically, what I need to do is I need to create an integration and an automation between Flowdesk and Asana. And I'm going to do this with the help of Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing software for automation and integration. And with the help of Pabli Connect, I can build this connection between Flowdesk and Asana without any coding and programming skills. So for using Pabli Connect, I need to open a new tab and search for pabli.com slash connect in my browser. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Now here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If we don't have any account with Pabli Connect, then we can just click on this sign up for free button and this will take only two minutes of our time and we will get 100 tasks free every month. Or if we already have an account, we can just sign in and we will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I need to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect. And this will take us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here what I need to do is I need to create a new workflow. And for that, I'm going to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Now here I need to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to Create Asana task for new Flowdesk subscriber added to a segment. Now what I need to do is I need to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and here I will find all the folders that I have in my Pabli Connect account and I'm going to use this particular folder of Flowdesk. So I'm going to select this and now I need to click on create. And here it will take us to this window of our workflow. Now here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So here we need to first set up our trigger and here we can only set up one trigger and multiple actions. So here for setting up my trigger, what I need to do is I need to first set up my trigger application. And here my trigger application is going to be Flowdesk so I'm going to search for that. So I'm going to select Flowdesk here. And now I need to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab. And subscriber added to a segment will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this. 
and now I need to connect Flowdesk with Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will click on connect with Flowdesk. Now here I have to first log into my Flowdesk account. And after logging into my Flowdesk account, what I need to do is I need to click on allow to give access to my account. So I'm going to click here. And here I have successfully connected Flowdesk with Pabli Connect. Now here, for getting all the detail of my subscriber from Flowdesk, what I need to do is I need to give a webhook name. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a random name and here my webhook name will be new webinar registrant. Now here I have given my webhook name. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on save and send test token button. And here we can see it is waiting for response. So how I'm going to get this response for that I need to first create a new subscriber and I need to sign up a new user for my webinar by using my Flowdesk form and as that user is going to fill that form then automatically that user will be created as a subscriber in a particular segment in Flowdesk. So for that let me take you to my Flowdesk form. And here this is my sign up form. So here I'm going to fill all these details of my subscriber. So here my first name will be new. My last name will be subscriber. Email will be new subscriber at the rate pablitudes.com and I'm going to give a random phone number. And here I have filled all these details. Now what I need to do is I need to click on sign up. And here I have successfully onboarded my subscriber and I have created a new subscriber in a segment in Flowdesk. Now to check this, let me take you to Flowdesk and here I'm adding my new subscriber in this particular segment of connect integration. So I'm going to first refresh this and here this is my segment of connect integration. So I'm going to click on view and here we can see I have added this new subscriber in my segment that is new subscriber at the rate pabditudes.com. So here this is my particular segment that I want to use and if any subscriber added in this particular segment then only I want to create a new task in Asana. So now let me take you back to Pabli Connect and here in Pabli Connect we can see I have received this response. So in this response I have my webhook ID, I have my subscriber status that is active, I have my subscriber source that is form opt-in, I have my subscriber segment that is connect integration and also here I have all the detail of my subscriber. So here I have the first name that is new, I have the last name that is subscriber, I have the email address that is new subscriber at the rate pabletudes.com, I have the random mobile number and I have the subscriber ID. So here we can see that as I have received all these details of my subscriber that I've just added in a segment in Flowdesk and also here we can see that as a subscriber will be added in any segment then I'm going to receive this response from Flowdesk. So here what I need to do is I need to filter out all those subscribers that are going to add in this particular segment. So for that what I need to do is I need to set up my actions tab and here in my actions tab I need to use filter by Pabli and now I need to give an action event so I'm going to open this tab and filter values will be my action event so I'm going to select this and now I'm going to connect filter by Pabli with Pabli connect so I'm going to click here on connect. Now here by using filter by Pabli, I need to set up my condition. So here my condition will be that only if my subscriber is going to add in a particular segment which is of connect integration, then only I want to create a new task in Asana. So for that what I need to do is I need to first select my label, filter type and the value. So in the label I'm going to open this tab. I'm going to open this response of flow desk and here I have this label of subscriber segment name. So I'm going to select this. And here my filter type will be equal to and now I need to give my value. So in the value I'm going to give the name of my segment that is connect integration. So I'm going to type that. Now here what is going to happen is that as I'm going to receive a response of a new subscriber that is going to add in a segment in Flowdesk. Then after receiving that response I'm going to run this filter and if that subscriber is added in this particular segment then only this workflow is going to work ahead and I'm going to create new task in Asana. So here I have set up my filter. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test token button. And here we can see I have reset my status and my condition is true. So this means that my subscriber is added in this particular segment only. And now what I need to do is I need to create a new task in Asana. So for that I need to add one more action step. And here my action application is going to be Asana. So I'm going to select Asana here. And now I need to give my action event so I'm going to open this tab and create a task will be my action event so I'm going to select this 
and here I need to connect Asana with Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will connect with Asana. Now here my connection is successful as I have already logged into my Asana account in my browser. So it has detected that and I have connected Asana with Pabli Connect. Now first what I need to do is I need to give my workspace and here I only have one workspace that is pablitudes.com so it is already selected. Now what I need to do is I need to give my project ID. So for the project ID I need to take you to my Asana account and here in Asana I am using this Flowdesk subscriber project and here I want to create new task for my subscriber. So as the subscriber is going to get added then automatically I want to create a task in this segment of subscriber added with all the detail of my subscriber. And as I'm going to send different emails, then I can manage that task in different sections. So here I need to go back to Public Connect. And here for selecting my project ID, I need to open this tab. And here I'm going to use this project of Flowdesk subscriber. So I'm going to select this. And here you can also select multiple projects. I'm only going to select this project of Flowdesk subscriber. Now what I need to do is I need to give the task name. So here my task name will be new subscriber added with following details. And here I'm going to give my subscriber details like the name, email, contact number, subscriber ID and the status. And also here I have this message that says now manage this registration and keep him slash her well informed. So here this is going to be my task name and I'm going to create this task with all the detail of my subscriber and I'm informing my team to keep this registration well informed with all the details of the webinar and also to manage this subscriber with all the emails that is needed to be sent. So here what I need to do is I need to give all the detail of my subscriber here and for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all the detail of the response that I have received from Flowdesk and I'm going to map all those detail here. So from the response of Flowdesk I'm going to receive my subscriber detail. So I'm going to use all those detail and I'm going to map that here and for that I need to use mapping. So what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping I need to click here, I will give a space and I need to map the name of my subscriber. So I'm going to open this response of Flowdesk. Now here I need to give the name of my subscriber. So here I'm going to search for the name and here this is the first name so I'm going to map this. Now I'm going to give a space and I'm going to map the last name. So here this is the name of my subscriber that is new subscriber. Now I need to give the email so I need to click here, I will give a space. And again I'm going to open this response of Flowdesk. Now here this is my subscriber email so I'm going to map this. Now similarly I need to give the contact number so I need to click here. I will give a space and I'm going to open this response of Flowdesk. And here this is the contact number or the mobile number of my subscriber so I'm going to map this. Now similarly I'm going to map the subscriber ID and the status. Now here we can see that I have mapped all these details and as I have mapped all these details, I have made these details dynamic. So as I'm going to receive a new response of a new subscriber from Flowdesk, then automatically all these details that I have mapped here are going to get replaced with the new detail of the subscriber in the real time. Now here what I need to do is I need to fill all these tabs and here I need to first give a note for my task. So here my note will be. We need to make sure to send all the required emails and not to miss any important step. So this is going to be my note for this particular task. Now here if I have any due date then I can fill this tab but I don't want to keep any due date but if you want to keep any due date on this task then you can fill this tab. I have filled all the required details and I don't need all these details. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on save and send test ticket button. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response and this means that I have created a new task in my Asana project. So to check this let me take you back to Asana. And here in Asana we can see I have created this new task. So I'm going to open this task. And here this is my task that says new subscriber added with following details. So the name of my subscriber is new subscriber. Email is new subscriber at the rate pablitudes.com. I have the random phone number. I have my subscriber ID and also I have the status that is active. Also I need to manage this registration and keep him slash her well informed. Here I have my description of my task that says we need to make sure to send all the required emails and not to miss any important step. So here I've created this task in this particular project of Flowdesk subscriber and here this is my section that is subscriber added. Now here as I have created this task in Asana and now I have all these sections. 
So as I'm going to move in my further steps, then I can change my task from one section to another. And like this, I can manage my task and my subscriber. So by creating this task in Asana, I can manage all my new subscribers and I can make sure that all the registrants that I'm receiving as a subscriber from my Flowdesk form for my webinar are well managed and I'm sending all the email segments that I've like the welcome email, follow up emails and promotional offer emails. So here we can see that my connection here between Flowdesk and Asana is working successfully. And now as I'm going to receive a new subscriber added in a segment in Flowdesk, then automatically I'm going to create a new task in Asana for that particular subscriber. So here I've successfully created this automation and I've created this automation with the help of Pabli Connect. Now as I'm going to receive a new subscriber in Flowdesk in a particular segment, then automatically I'm going to create a new task in Asana for that particular subscriber. So here my connection and my objective is running successfully. Now let me take you back to Pabli Connect. And here in Pabli Connect, I've created this connection between Flowdesk and Asana to automatically create Asana task for new Flowdesk subscriber added to a segment. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I set up my trigger and my trigger application was Flowdesk and my trigger event was subscriber added to segment. Then I've set up my actions tab and here I have used filter by Pabli and by using filter by Pabli, I have set up my condition for running my workflow. And in the last, I have used Asana as my action application and here my action event was create a task. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there and thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate and if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.